All right, we are going to look for a couple of rain showers to make their way in here in Charleston within the next few minutes, but we still have that one thunderstorm. The good news is no warnings at this point in time, but it is a hail producer over parts of Wayne County making its way eastward at 35 miles an hour. Now, this storm did have a history of producing damaging winds, even a few tornadoes back into northern and central Kentucky, but right now it is still all alone, but we're starting to lose that daytime heating, so it is weakening and moving a little bit slowly near Wayne. We could potentially have some pea size hail. The colors have dropped off much more green and blue now, so definitely losing that hail core at this point in time. Now, we are going to see a cold front move its way southward, and this could produce some showers and maybe thunderstorms late tonight and into early Friday morning. The rain may be heavy at times early in the morning, which could mean for a soggy commute. We'll start to see these showers and storms form in the southeastern Ohio about midnight to one in the morning and make their way into West Virginia closer to two and three in the morning at this point in time, but you can see some of this will be locally heavy as it makes its way eastward and that could lead to a good amount of heavy rain closer to the Ohio River. That would be the possibility for an area of poor drainage flooding to the north and west. Now into Friday afternoon, there will be some breaks, so it's not a complete washout, but then we're going to see some more pop up showers and storms form to our west and make their way in between the afternoon and early evening. Temperature is cooling down into the 40s to start off Saturday, but not all that bad for the afternoon. Mostly sunny skies, a few high clouds out there, and the weekend's going to start off pretty dry. We've also dropped off our chances for rain as we head into Sunday. Maybe a spotty shower to the north and east, but I mean St. Patrick's Day should be all right. The key consideration, it will be a little bit cooler outside. 40s in the morning to 50s in the afternoon with mostly cloudy skies as well as we head through the day. So rainfall totals again, the potential is there for about a half to three quarters of an inch of rain as we head through the day Friday. Locally, more than one inch, especially into southeastern Ohio. Just be aware one or two places could have a poor drainage high water issue, but will not be everywhere. And yes, look what we're seeing here, the potential for some snow showers as we head into Monday. Now, accumulations look very light from this system. We're not expecting any major impacts in the lower elevations, but colder air is making a return as we head into next week. We go from the 50s on Sunday down into the 40s there for Monday and Tuesday. The first day of spring likely to be on the cooler side, but the good news is we will get some sunshine as we head into the afternoon and evening. Next week, we try to rebound for Wednesday and Thursday, 50s and 60s, and we get back into that drier weather pattern as well by next week.